Uh, how should I sound for you? What? Welcome. Oh. <laughs> Who is this? I'm, you call, Gaia. Welcome, Gaia. Welcome, Mother. Welcome, Mother. Oh, thank you for coming. Uh, how should I hear you? How should you hear me? I do not know. I do not speak to you enough. <laughs> Happy. Not in, the way, not in the way that you hear me all the time. If you could see who I am really, you would see a huge fire within my soul for the people Stunning. of Earth. But if you could look at me on the outside from a great distance, you would see great movement across the oceans and waters and storms and cold and heat and life and movement and changing of colors from the blues to the greens to the seas to the... Ah, it is just a miraculous thing, don't you think? Very much indeed. But yet such a small place. Such a very <laughs> small place in the universe. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, such a very small place I am. But so what very questions you have, would you have? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I would like I to would ask, ask you, first of all, um, we as a group, been working on sending you healing. Yes. Um, is there anything you recommend for us to help you? How can we help you? Oh dear, you help me so much. The very fact that there is much happiness in this group makes me laugh a lot. <laughs> much peace and calmness. I've I've not been to a place like this for a while. <laughs> That's lovely. Thank you so much. That's wonderful, Mother. And, well, like, let me ask your question. <laughs> but I feel such joy here. That is why. I am, yes. I am not sorry was, for the joy. <laughs> <laughs> the question was how may we best support you? What can we do yes. for you? Uh, what can you do for me? Many of you send me your energies to be purified. Thank you very much because that is a great service to humanity that I can give. I can give you your energy of service. From me, you need grounding. Send, yes. me, your, send me your heart. Love me and you will ground with me in a moment. If you love weird. your mother, if you love your mother earth, if I can feel your love coming down through me, of course I'm going to, you'll be grounded. It's not something that I do necessarily, but it's something that you do and I do together because we have our energy exchange. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, thank you. Yes. <sighs> My waters are in trouble. But, yes, you know, the things will happen as they will happen, and they will be what they will be. And I know that Father God, Mother Father God, and the universe is taking care of me because I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's your last incarnation upon Earth as well, is that correct? What was that, dear? I said, I've heard this is your last incarnation upon Earth as well. Is that yes. correct? Are you moving on afterwards? I will be after this place. I will go to some place that is like more like a sun. Oh, wow. Oh, that's awesome. More like a star. Some people do not realize that suns and stars are the same. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. Well, we hope you get to be a star which has another planet like yourself now, so you can. Oh, watch over it, yes. The energy and 
There's been so much good energy. <laughs> well, you've been through an so, amazing journey over the the millennia and millennia that you have been present here. So, well, you, you from see all that the Hukalo members, I just want to say thank you. There's many people in the chat box sending their love right now. Wonderful. I feel that love, and that is why I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot help myself at this moment because you are do you are sending so much love to me. I know that you are feeling the happiness and joy that I can provide as well for you just by living on this planet. This is a planet. I am yes. a planet. I Mother understand Earth. that. Mother Earth, I also want to thank you for all my flowers. They are all in bloom and they're gorgeous. <laughs> I, I love, love the them. Flowers. And you are each my flowers as well. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I look I at you as beauty. I look at you as the beauty moving across. I know that not all not all humans are flowers. There are some thorns, but there are <laughs> <laughs> but you know the thorns are there to make the flowers look better. So I love that. It's wonderful. We love you, Mother Gaia. Please know that. I am so happy to be here. But I cannot stay long. There is so much to do. Okay. Um so are you are you moving up with us with the ascension? Of course. How is that? Okay. <laughs> That's a silly question. <laughs> <laughs> well, since Roe said that you were moving on, <laughs> I'm, moving um, up. I'm moving on up. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, it made me nervous. <laughs> You can't accuse me of not having a sense of humor. Look at the look at all the different animals and what they look like. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> you know, I help sculpt them a little bit. You know, over time as you call it, I I say, Oh no, you this doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I just make it better for where I, question. for who I am, for where they live. That's all. So what's up with the platypus? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just wanted something interesting with a beak. <laughs> <laughs> That's Actually, I love the platypus. I love the platypus. The platypus is a very unusual animal. Yeah. And it is has a special place in my heart because it is so unusual, and I it brings me great joy. That's all, that is what it's for. There, it brings Mother, Father, God great joy as well. <laughs> Thank you so much for allowing it to be in my home of Australia. <laughs> oh yes, how are you? <laughs> Hello, Mother Gaia. I love your animals. Thank you so much. Yes, aren't they beautiful? Oh, you have the kangaroo over there. <laughs> sure do. <laughs> the wallaby, yes. <laughs> and the yeah, koala. Can, can you do something about the possums? <laughs> the possums. <laughs> yes. The, 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 the kangaroos and the possums do both have pouches, don't they? Yes. Mm, interesting. Not much You're alike. <laughs> All right. I leave you with a blessing. Can I do that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> there was one more question from one of the participants, if you don't mind. That is fine. Okay. Um, she said, I have been recently honoring the gods of each of the open spaces, water, woods, uh, mountains, etc., trying to reconnect via the many faces of divinity. Is there uh, any way that you prefer to be honored? The faces of divin divinity are connected in many ways. All around my world, the circuits of divinity are in place because this is the time for it. 
And the way that you can help me most is to send me the energy of those things that are not needed. If you have your shadow energies, if you have things that you do not want within you, send it to me and I will purify it. Like these around me and these that I see the faces and the icons of, send it all to me and I will purify it because that is what I do. And that is why the oceans will be all right. I have my ways of purifying things. I have my elemental people that help me with the purification process. I have my spirits that help me with my purification process. I have the gods and the angels who come and know who I am in my heart of fire and they do grant me many things. Otherwise you wouldn't be here. Thank you. Okay, can I get a really quick one in because we got a important question from um, Agent D does the object report. Um, he would like to know about the connection of the Gaia grid and the sacred grid and the increasing connection. Are you able to answer that? In some ways I can. The, the, they've always been there, both. The grids have been there for since I was born. And they were put together in a way that causes creation to grow and ascend. And that is why they are there. For us to grow and ascend with one another. My connection with you and your connection with me. Now the spiritual grid is not in the earth, but above the earth. As, as you would look through it to find the earth. And the grids upon the earth are those of in the places of the shadows of the spiritual grid. Do you understand that? As the sun shines through the spiritual grid, it, it is marking the great and wonderful earth grid. So they are a unity. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Hello, Gaia. This is Gerber Dan. How are you? I am absolutely wonderful. And I can feel it. I can feel you all the way over here. It's so wonderful. I had a question concerning the crop circles because I had read an article that said the Umer were sending pictograms and then the, the pictograms would come up through the earth and then show up on the surface as a crop circle. And I was wondering how many of those crop circles are actually coming from them compared to the ones that the humans are making. Is there a ratio or a percentage that you allow to come through? Well, there's three different kinds of crop circles. <laughs> First, there are some human-made ones. Not very well. I mean, they there's a lot of... Mm, you can always tell a human one. There's no energy in it. it. It does look good from the sky, but when you're close to it, you can tell the difference. You can see the difference because it's not, it's not perfect. There is those that are from the aliens that come down and do send energy to the earth and cause the, the a swirling vortex that causes the different movements in and around areas in the crops the, and causes these crop circles. Then the Uma, which you are speaking of, that come yes. up through the earth, up through me, yes, there are those as well and those are the most significant because they pull everything down. They increase gravitational pull and they increase the density of all the things that they touch. The density changes in all these things so they can be manipulated in a way that gravity can, can use them. Does that make sense to you? And these are the crop circles that tell a message that have actually sound, vibration, radioactivity sometimes because what is radioactivity? It, it, it came, comes up through the earth. When you come up through the earth, you bring it, they, the Uma brings that radioactivity with it. 
because it is under the earth and and it is everywhere under the earth but it's far down but as it comes up through yes and these are the messages that are not warnings these are the messages of the truth of the spirit and that is why there's so much confusion in reading the crop circles is because some read them as music some read them as messages some read them as so many different things, but they do. They are not all related. There are certain, they have to relate the ones that are made by the aliens together, the ones that are made by the Uma together, and the ones that are made by the humans they can just toss out. So, because they really are not perfect, and the message there is can be misinterpreted. So just throw those out because they do not have an attachment and the the human ones are actually the least of them if you understand that there's so few human crop circles really there are some maybe 12 at the most but so many more that are not is there a way to uh, can, can you give a percentage of how many are umer and how many are alien are, is There's it like thirty? Per, small percentage are Umer. Most are alien. Umer is about maybe fifteen percent. Wow, fifteen percent. Wow, I was I was thinking maybe even less than that. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for answering that question. It was so important to me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. 14, oh, they're asking. Oh, they're, I, I really would like Sean to go, but maybe Sean can ask the question about the wobble. Thank you, Gaia. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So one quick question relative sure. to that. Yes. Yeah. How do we tell the difference between the Umer? Oh, your scientists know the difference already. Right, but I'm you not will feel. One of those oh, well, take your, take your energy field and resonate, and that's all you need to do. Yeah, I know. It is easy. You'll right. you'll re, you'll go. Oh no, that's not not no. Excellent. Well, that's how I would have answered it. But. Yes, it's it's a resonation. And you will know Umar from Alien as well, because Umar is much stronger. Okay, sorry, Sean. Go ahead, Sean Shiny. <laughs> um, I just want to start by saying uh, I'm sorry for all the times that I... Uh, you know, done anything wrong towards you, but I know you forgive me because I know, because you're my mommy, and I love, I, I love my mommy, and I know my mommy loves me too. Uh, my question was, uh, what what happens to a person when they come from off planet here? Like, if I'm just say a humanoid alien, and I come here to live in this thought density, you know, am I connected with you, or am I connected with my home planet? From you know the stars. Well, that's first of all, I can sense, I can sense all the things around me because that's, it's just like my skin is the atmosphere is like my skin. Oh, of course, my my crust, as you call it, the crust, the outer surface. That's what you think is my skin, but I reach all the way out to the the ends of the uh, of the atmosphere. So I, that's how I feel. And so yes, I know when they are coming. And I can welcome them if I want. And there are those that are I don't care to welcome. They come anyway, sort of like a pimple on the skin. But anyway, it doesn't matter. They can come, and they will, they will still play their part in what is necessary for to be here. Because pimples are necessary. They get rid of the oil and things, you know. But anyway, they, are, they do have their purposes. <laughs> what about the wobble on the earth axis what about the earth axis there's a wobble oh, yes, it's... continue there's a wobble uh, with the earth axis the earth oh. axis has slowly been moving yes there's there was there is a wobble from that started when you were exposed we were all exposed to so the the energy at the center of the galaxy is very strong because as you know they predicted that it, it is a great black hole or whatever you want to call it um, I 
I am not privy to what it is. I'm only privy to know that it is very powerful energy and it is moving forward. It's moving out. So maybe we're on the hind end of it and is pulling it in toward this direction. Not sure. But there is a wobble on the earth because of the strength of that energy hitting it because once we were exposed to it, it actually moved through space and actually is hitting all the different planets. And we're not the only one that is hit by this energy. And we're not the only one that is affected by this energy. The entire universe or planetary system that was in line of the galactic uh, center, and some are coming into that line right now, have uh, been changed in some way. So, and that is the only thing that I can tell you about that. The wobble does exist, and it does affect the weather, and it does affect many things, but it will not last forever. It is slowing back down because what, what happens when you, you hit something and it wobbles, but it's in a constant spin around a certain thing, it, it actually brings itself back into that, that pattern again. But at this point, it's still wobbling a bit. But it will change forever some of the things that the, about the weather and things of that nature. Forever will be changed. So what is it that is affecting um, a lot of the animals that are dying? Evolution. That's evolution. Evolution is part of that, yes. The other part is you are causing the evolution because of chemicals and different things that you put into me. It doesn't hurt me as much as it hurts you. You see, I, I can live in a, and I can still be alive without an atmosphere. I can still be alive without a surface. But you must have things. And your chemicals and your chemtrails, as you call them, and different things of this nature are harming the animals and the trees. You see, there's been much put in the earth in the last 40, 50 years that does not belong there. And therefore the trees, they move slowly. You understand the elegance of the trees, how their heartbeat is very slow, how their energy moves slowly through them in an elegant and wonderful way. Well, they cannot keep up with this. Some of them cannot. They cannot keep up with the damage of the earth. And if they are feeling, because the trees are all connected and the plants are all connected. You know that, right? You know that yes. they have energy for one another. And if, if the energy of the trees around cannot sustain one, of the others, they must let it go. And it returns to energy, of course. But they must survive themselves first, as you must survive yourself first, of course, and bring have enough energy for you to survive before you give out other energy. And some of these trees are dying because the energy is just not pure enough that they are getting. And Can we... with the animals are being hunted to extinction, that is part of your evolution, but in a sad way because you've caused it. But evolution is the changes that come. No matter what caused it necessarily, it is still evolution. <laughs> okay. One. Thank you. Is good evolution it's coming to Yes. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, if you would like to give us the blessing before you go. Yes. A blessing. Walk on me as a friend. Put your feet on me and let me touch you. Let me hold you in my gravitational pool. And let me know who you are inside and out. I draw on the energies of the universe as well. Bring them down all the way to my center some days. Because I need 
my own grounding in the universe. Understand that the light is there for you. Understand that the earth is fertile for you. Understand that any kind of growth is sacred. Love yourselves as you love the light that is making you grow and the water. Love me as many of the elements are and I am part of. <laughs> Call me Gaia. I like that name. And call me mother. For I will nurture you. I have energies that I can give to you that cause nurturing, loving, understanding, grounding. Even I can cause you to be inspired. I love you much and feel you daily be with me and talk to me because I am not a stranger <laughs> blessings guys thank you mother thank you much love much love to you all and I am I am back down I'm moving back down <laughs> much love mother thank you one more look. 